Now, and I see it a lot with the folks that I work with as well, because the, the, the sort of, the sort of, I suppose that the further dark side of the imposter syndrome is you, because you have that level of insecurity, you tend to then begin to overachieve as you do more work, right? You do more, you're never satisfied with your level of output or quality or, you know, your boss, whatever your boss says or what your team says or what your clients say, you're never quite believing that they are, even if they're telling you you're doing a good job, you don't believe it. So, you know, you're always working at 110, 120% because you have this voice in the back of your head saying, you're just not good enough. You just work harder and harder and more and more. And as you said, you just take more on, right? And that's the, the hustle culture. That's the whole you know, the whole way of being an entrepreneur is you work really hard. You're never satisfied with your results. It's almost back to the first thing that I said is that imposter syndrome is a feature in that regard, right? Because any human who feels it, if you're a boss, anybody in your team feels imposter syndrome, great, right? Rub my hands with glee. These people are going to work twice as hard, deliver twice as much because they have that insecurity. They have that ability to overachieve because they feel really insecure. And that's great in the short term, as you said, because you can get results up until about your age to about 30. But then, you know, the dark side of that is, is burnout, right? Is you, you start to burn out. You can't keep working at that rate. It's burnout. It can be depression. It can be even the, you know, suicidal, uh, you know, uh, ideas and very kind of serious results of it. And actually nobody really want to talk about it. 